Have you ever wondered how polar bears manage to survive in the extreme cold of the Arctic Circle? They are the true icons of the frozen north, with their distinctive white coats and powerful bodies. Polar bears, or Ursus maritimus if you prefer the scientific name, are uniquely adapted to life on the sea ice of the Arctic Ocean, a harsh and unforgiving environment. Their lifestyle and habits are a remarkable testament to the resilience of life on our planet. With their thick fur, a layer of blubber for insulation, and an incredible ability to swim, polar bears have evolved to conquer one of the world's most formidable habitats. But they're not just survivors. Polar bears play a crucial role in maintaining the balance of their ecosystem. They are apex predators at the very top of the food chain, and their hunting helps to regulate the populations of seals and other marine mammals in the Arctic. Isn't it fascinating how these magnificent creatures have adapted to such harsh environments? Now you might ask where exactly can we find these Arctic warriors? The answer to that question takes us on a journey around the top of the globe, where we find the polar bear's icy domain. Polar bears, also known as Ursus maritimus, primarily inhabit the Arctic Circle, a region that spans five countries. This includes the northernmost parts of Canada, the United States, specifically Alaska, Greenland, Russia, and Norway. These formidable creatures have adapted to life in one of the harshest environments on our planet, making the icy landscapes their playground. Let's begin with Canada, which is home to approximately two-thirds of the global polar bear population. Here, the vast and stunning expanse of the Canadian Arctic provides a perfect backdrop for these majestic beasts. Moving to Alaska, the southern Beaufort Sea population of polar bears resides along the northern coast. Their survival is intricately tied to the annual formation of sea ice. Next, we journey to the remote and rugged landscapes of Greenland, where polar bears roam the northern and northeastern coasts. In Russia, the polar bear population is scattered across its enormous Arctic coastline with a significant number found in the archipelago of Franz Josef Land. Finally, in Norway, the polar bears are found on the islands of the Svalbard archipelago. Here they are considered a symbol of the region and are an integral part of the local ecosystem. These Arctic warriors are not just residents of the ice, they are utterly dependent on it. The sea ice serves as a platform for hunting seals, their primary source of food. It also plays a crucial role in their breeding and denning habits. Despite the harsh freezing conditions, these regions provide an essential habitat for polar bears. The polar bear's survival is intertwined with the health and preservation of these icy landscapes. These majestic animals have not only adapted to survive in these extreme conditions, they have thrived. Despite the harsh conditions, these regions are home to the majestic polar bears. Their survival story is a testament to the incredible adaptability and resilience of life on our planet. So, what does a day in the life of a polar bear look like? Imagine waking up on a vast expanse of ice. That's the typical morning for a polar bear. These majestic creatures, known as the kings of the Arctic, lead a fascinating lifestyle centered around survival in one of the harshest environments on Earth. A polar bear's day often begins with hunting. They are exceptional hunters, using a technique known as still hunting. This involves sitting beside a seal's breathing hole in the ice, waiting patiently for the seal to surface for air. When the seal does appear, the polar bear uses its immense strength and sharp claws to pull it out of the water. This patience and precision make polar bears one of the Arctic's most effective predators. The diet of a polar bear is primarily carnivorous, with seals being their preferred meal. However, they are opportunistic feeders and won't shy away from scavenging carcasses or even consuming vegetation when food is scarce. Despite their intimidating size and strength, polar bears must eat a lot to survive. They need about 2 kilograms of fat each day which is roughly equivalent to eating 4.5 large pizzas. But it's not all about hunting and eating. Polar bears are also remarkable swimmers, capable of swimming for long distances at a stretch. They use their strong, wide front paws for propulsion, and their back legs for steering, making them quite adept in the water. This swimming prowess is crucial as it allows them to navigate the vast and ever-changing Arctic seascape in search of food. In the bear world, polar bears are somewhat of an anomaly. Unlike their brown or black bear cousins, polar bears lead a largely solitary lifestyle. Outside of mothers with cubs or occasional sparring between males during mating season, polar bears prefer to roam the Arctic alone. 
From hunting to swimming, every day is a survival challenge for these solitary creatures. But through it all, polar bears have adapted to thrive in a world of ice and snow, embodying the true spirit of the Arctic. Ever wondered how polar bears communicate or play? Well, these Arctic giants have some fascinating habits that are worth exploring. Let's delve into the fascinating world of polar bear habits from their communication styles to their playful antics and even their unique polar bear walk. Firstly, communication. Polar bears are not as solitary as we might think. They have a complex system of vocal and physical signals to communicate with each other. For instance, a bear might chuff, growl, or roar to express its feelings. If a polar bear wants to play, it'll approach another bear with a play bow, just like your pet dog. Speaking of play, it's not all about survival in the harsh Arctic. Polar bears, especially the young ones, love to play, whether it's wrestling with their siblings, sliding down icy slopes, or playfully stalking each other. These playful activities are not just for fun, they're essential for their development, helping them to hone their hunting skills and strengthening social bonds. Now let's talk about the unique polar bear walk. In order to traverse the slippery ice without sliding around, polar bears have developed a distinctive gait they walk with their feet turned inwards and their hind legs slightly spread apart. This pigeon-toed walk gives them better grip on the ice and enables them to move with surprising speed. Finally, a word about mother bears and their cubs. A mother bear's care for her cubs is truly remarkable. From the moment they are born, she nurtures them, teaches them how to hunt and navigate the icy terrain, and fiercely protects them from any threats. This intense care continues for about two and a half years until the cubs are ready to venture out on their own. These habits reveal a lot about the social life of polar bears. They're not just survival machines, they're intelligent, playful creatures with complex social interactions. So next time you think of a polar bear, remember, there's a lot more to these Arctic giants than meets the eye. But life in the Arctic is not all smooth sailing for these white giants. As mighty as they are, polar bears face a slew of challenges and threats that are making their survival increasingly difficult. Firstly, let's consider climate change. As the Earth's temperature rises, the Arctic is warming twice as fast as the rest of the world. This rapid warming is causing the sea ice, the polar bear's primary habitat and hunting ground, to melt at an alarming rate. With less ice to hunt and rest on, polar bears are forced to swim longer distances, which can be particularly taxing for young cubs. This shrinking ice also means fewer seals, the main source of a polar bear's diet, making food scarcity another pressing issue. This leads us to the second major challenge, the impact of human activities. Overfishing in the Arctic waters is depleting the seal population. While polar bears are skilled hunters, they are not equipped to compete with modern fishing methods. Moreover, pollution is another human-induced threat. Chemical contaminants from agriculture, industry and households are transported to the Arctic through air and sea currents, where they accumulate in the food chain. These toxins can affect the bear's reproduction, immunity, and overall health. Lastly, we cannot ignore the threat of oil and gas development in the Arctic. These activities not only disrupt the fragile ecosystem, but also pose a risk of oil spills, which can be deadly for polar bears and other wildlife. The challenges and threats faced by polar bears are a stark reminder of the broader implications of our actions. It's not just about saving a single species, but about preserving the balance of our ecosystem. Because in the end, the future of polar bears is intertwined with the health of our planet. So, what have we learned about the life of a polar bear in the Arctic? Well, it's a life of resilience and adaptation, isn't it? These magnificent creatures have carved out a home in one of the most inhospitable regions of our planet. The Arctic, with its icy landscapes and frigid waters, is their playground and pantry. They've evolved to lead a lifestyle that's in sync with the rhythm of their surroundings, mastering the art of hunting seals and surviving the harsh Arctic winters. Their habits are a testament to their survival instincts, from their unique hunting strategies to their long-distance swimming abilities. Yet, they face an uncertain future, with threats like climate change and loss of sea ice posing serious challenges. The survival of these magnificent creatures depends on us understanding and respecting their place in the ecosystem. Remember, every action we take has a ripple effect on the world around us. Let's ensure those ripples are positive, for the sake of the polar bear and for all life on Earth.